co-founder and CEO of Skycool Systems, where we're advancing a technology that reduces the electricity used by any air conditioning and refrigeration system. If you walk into a supermarket, you're familiar with that chill we all feel when we walk down the aisle. Those refrigerated cases and freezers that cause that chill keep merchandise cold, but they use a lot of energy and cost a lot of money to operate. And that's a major pain point for our first customers, the owners and operators of supermarkets. 60% of electricity used every day in the supermarket is for refrigeration. These systems are on 24-7 year-round. Moreover, supermarkets notoriously have very thin profit margins, around 1%, which is on par with their energy costs. So they're very incentivized to reduce those energy costs. Our breakthrough solution reduces electricity use for cooling 24 hours a day, day and night. It doesn't use any water and is fundamentally clean and renewable. And it's a simple add-on to any existing or new refrigeration or cooling system. We achieve this through our product, a rooftop-mounted fluid cooling panel that passively cools up to 20 degrees Fahrenheit below air temperature just by exposing it to the sky. This magical property harnesses a unique phenomenon known as sky cooling, and our proprietary <coughs> multi-layer optical coatings enable it 24 hours a day. They do this by rejecting heat as thermal radiation to the sky while simultaneously not absorbing sunlight. This builds on research breakthroughs we developed at Stanford University and now have an exclusive patent to operate on. For a typical supermarket, this will save them about $30,000 a year in electricity costs, which goes straight to their bottom line. And this results in a simple payback of four years. And this is purely on electricity savings, no time of day, nothing like that. And it also excludes any utility incentives. With utility incentives, these paybacks get even better. Our business model is to sell this to our end users through commercial refrigeration manufacturers and integrators, and we're very excited to report that we have multiple major pilots uh, lined up in California with both channel partners, end users, and utilities on board for them in 2017, and these are paid pilots. We're uniquely positioned in this very large market. $24 billion a year is spent on electricity for supermarket refrigeration systems worldwide. Unlike today's solution, we provide 24-7 electricity savings that's simple and easy to maintain. But this is just the beginning. Our long-term vision is to grow and address the broader cooling market by building in this beachhead market opportunity where we're getting a lot of traction today. Our team consists of pioneers in developing this technology with years of implementing new technologies in the energy system space. And we're funded by a $600,000 award from the U.S. Department of Energy, uh, ARPA-E in particular, which has been mentioned before, and a recipient of the Urban Clean Energy Prize. Our next steps are to scale, and I just want to say that 10% of global CO2 emissions right now are for cooling systems, and it's going to grow. At Skycool, we want to be a part of the solution to this challenge. Thank you. So we, did, we did this clicker thing just on purpose, just because you weren't nervous enough to come up, so we decided to make a clicker thing even harder. Okay, okay. Uh, could you explain to me how the system works? You mentioned it, does it work 24 hours a day, or does it work better during a typical summer afternoon during a peak, or, or how, does, how does that work at addressing uh, a, a So curve? it actually does uh, cooling 24 hours a day, so it can work both during the day and at night. Uh, but it will work better when it's hotter. So when it's hotter, you can actually reject more heat from the system. That being said, it also works really well at night. So when we go after our first market, we're looking for scenarios where uh, cooling loads are persistent. So in addition to refrigeration, uh, you probably saw data centers on there, and that's another scenario where you've got persistent cooling loads. So well, what, what, why did you choose supermarkets first and not data centers? Data centers look like there's a larger market. Uh, yeah, so we are looking into data centers as well. There, the value proposition is a little more complex. It's also around water savings. Uh, with supermarkets, uh, one interesting fact is a lot of them are simply air-cooled condensers, which are inefficient. They're looking for a really simple, low maintenance way of improving your efficiency, and it's frankly where there's a lot of alignment of incentives and interest from customers who are talking about that. So they're, they're incentivized to change the current, because um, I guess, um, most of the time the solution, is the problem isn't technology, it's people change and what they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. And what's your, what's your take on that? Uh, so th that's a great point. And part of this is, you know, we, as I mentioned, we developed this positionally as a technology, uh, but we realized very quickly to make that, reduce that barrier to potential entry, uh, we are, uh, found a way to actually integrate it that's pretty simple. It doesn't actually touch the core components of your system. It only interfaces at one point. It's already in the loop. 
and it doesn't actually change any of their underlying controls or anything like that with Prism. So that really helps our customers. Chatted earlier, and maybe you're part of the answer to this question already. But um, in, in um, terms of the footprint, uh, I know that it can operate in areas where solar panels wouldn't be viable. But is there a chance that a, a potential customer would have to choose between a solar array in your system? Uh, typically, we don't think so. So most of the, the scenarios I described in terms of energy savings are uh, going to be occupying parts of the roof that aren't appropriate for solar, and that's typically about 10 to 20 percent of the roof, even in a commercial building. Uh, due to shadowing or shadowing from especially the condenser units, which is what we interface with. So I think uh, there's a nice fit there. Uh, in the long run, we see ourselves as potentially also being uh, playing more broadly to occupy roof space that solar can't uh, and addressing particularly HVAC and cooling needs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is your go to market strategy? Uh, so uh, pilots are the path of the sales and the sector. So I think that uh, going from there, the goal is to sell uh, across supermarket chains, um, and people are starting to do pilots in adjacent sectors. But not, not through HVAC technology? Uh, eventually, that's an opportunity. I think at this stage, the technology needs more years of development than customer. Bye. Okay. Thanks. Let's go. Thank, Thank you. you.